and start worship now. Would you bless the Lord with us together? good he is to you come on we ought to just turn this place into a prayer room for just a moment God we're honored to be in your presence because you're good God because we love you Lord because you've been faithful to us God hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus amen feels good in the house of the Lord this morning amen and we're gonna go before the Lord in prayer and we're gonna believe that God is gonna touch and you know, I don't know why God doesn't always answer every prayer. I wish I did. I wish I had a perfect answer for you. But I know that he's an, a miracle worker. And I know he's a comforter. I know he's the Prince of Peace. I know he has all things under control. And so we need to go before the Lord today and just pray and just believe that God is going to move on all these situations on the screen behind me. And uh, if you have a need in your body, I want you to come full of faith and believe that God wants to, to do a work in your life. Whatever that work is, we want to trust him for that. Of course, we want to specifically keep in our prayer uh, Mona's family, um, all, all of those that have been affected. The whole church has been affected by that loss. Um, but we want to surround that family and we want all of you to know that we love you so much and uh, keep them in your prayers this week and through the new year and I was thinking about it the other day you know they're always going to think about Mona at Christmas but they're always going to think about Mona at Christmas 
I'm so thankful for Sister Mona and her service. Amen. Let's go before the Lord today and let's pray. Lord, we love you. We are so thankful to know you, God, and to have your presence with us today. God, we, we don't deserve your love or your compassion, your kindness or your goodness, God, but you come and you meet us in our situations and in our needs, God, and you do all things well, Lord, and I don't understand why you do things sometimes. I don't understand everything that happens, but God, I know that you're in control. God, I know you're a healer. I know you're our Savior, God. We want to take a step of faith today because we're not satisfied with what you've done yesterday or last year, God. We want to be content, God, in everything that you're going to do in the future, God. We believe that you're going to work miracles. We believe that you're going to heal and restore. God, we believe that you're going to work wonders, God, because that's who you are. That's what you do, God. I pray over every need that is listed on the screen today in the name name of Jesus, I pray, God, that you would touch, that you would bring strength, that you would bring healing, that you would bring restoration and power and authority over every need and every situation, God. I pray the, in the authority of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the name of Jesus today, that your spirit would dwell in this place, that your spirit would comfort those that are in need of comfort today. I pray for Mona's family today. Touch Christy. God, touch Danielle, touch their family, touch Sister Kim, touch every person, God, that is in need today. I pray for comfort. I pray for the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come today. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your perfect will be done in all these needs and every situation. God, I just pray that your authority would begin to move in this place. God, I pray that your authority would begin to move in this place. God, I claim dominion over cancer, over, uh, over any spiritual wickedness, any, over any darkness, God, over anxiety, over any fear, over any depression, oppression. God, I, I claim deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. I pray in the authority and the power of the Holy Ghost that you would begin to come and move in this place. Let the atmosphere be shifting right now into a place of intercession, into a place of anointing, into a place of authority. Devil, you have no place in this church. Devil, you have no place in this church. I claim deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, let's worship him now. Let's worship him now. How we give you glory. God, we claim deliverance right now in your name. The name that is above every name. God, I pray the Prince of Peace would come. I pray the anointing would come. The power would come. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. The wonderful Counselor. Could we just lift our hands all across this place right now and just give God his proper praise. Lord, we love you. God, you've been too good for us, God. We don't deserve your love or your kindness, but you're there anyway. You're a friend that sticks closer than a brother. You've never left us or forsaken any one of us. God, I pray for any person that's hurting right now. I pray that your spirit would minister to them. Let your anointing come. Amen. 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 It's so good to be with all of you today. You may be seated. If you're visiting with us, we are so honored that you are here, and we hope that you will make this place your church home. And if uh, you're visiting with us online, we're so glad that you're here. We love you. We honor you today. It's, it's our privilege to have you with us. Uh, Brother Matthew's going to come right now. He's going to make an announcement. We're going to move forward with our service here. Brother Matthew's going to come. All right, uh, we've got a couple youth events to talk about. One coming up is uh, Oklahoma Youth Convention starting tomorrow. Uh, it'll be Monday and Tuesday evening. We're going to stream it here from the church. It is obviously a youth event, but it is open to anybody that would like to show up. The service starts at 7, so we're asking that everybody try to be here between 6.30 and 6.45, and we'll have a, a time of prayer before service starts at 7, and that'll be both um, Monday and Tuesday nights. So please come. We would enjoy everybody to be here. Also, we're asking please to dress at least business casual. If we were going to this event, we would all be in our Sunday best and suits and ties, but we're asking to 
please at, at least wear business casual. So slacks and a polo, slacks and a button down, something like that. If you want to wear a suit and tie, that'd be great as well, but at least business casual. Also, second announcement. Uh, this is a North American Youth Congress year um, in 2021 coming up. We understand with the threat of COVID and everything, we don't know where it's all going to be at that point. Hopefully, um, by the end of the spring or the beginning of the summer, it'll be a distant memory. Um, but we are going to take some precautions in uh, planning this and in getting ourselves registered for it. I spoke with Brother Ranking on Wednesday, and registration for hotels does open up on January 4th. But they're having a second um like a second deadline for the hotels um, in February. So we are going to wait until February to kind of see where everything is going on with the virus to see if they're, if, if the youth division makes any calls and anything like that. So we're going to wait, but start saving now. Um, Payola is not taking a trip this year. The people that we usually get on the bus with, they are not putting a trip together. So we are going to be on our own doing that. I'm hoping that we have enough young people and adults that would like to go that we can charter our own bus. So I don't have to drive a 15 passenger van to Indianapolis because I don't drive a car in Tulsa, much less a 15 passenger van in Indianapolis. So for the sake of your children's lives, uh, please, please uh, plan on going with us. Um, we'll know more on uh, travel arrangements and prices um, as, as we get closer to that time. So just start thinking about that, pray about it, talk with your, with your young people, young people talk with your parents. And um, this is gonna be a great year for Youth Congress if we're able to have it. So we're super excited. Man, we need to make sure that our young people go to that. And uh, adults, if you would like to tag along, uh, Brother Matthew would love for you to do that as well. Um, we don't have service tonight, so get what you can out of today. And I, you know, I, I know we kind of say that, but this is our last Sunday of the year. We ought to just, in 2020, this has been a year that's kind of beat some people up. But we ought to just have a Holy Ghost service today. Amen. We ought to just have a good time. And if you need a blessing today, I want you to know you can receive your blessing today. And so let's just have let's just have a let's just have a Holy Ghost pep rally today. That'd be all right. If if two or three people got slain in the spirit today, that'd be all right. If we just tarried for a little while, we got nowhere else to be. And so, and if you do, you can cancel your plans. I'm just kidding. We're just gonna have a good time today. I feel the I, I feel something here today. That's why I'm saying that, and I believe we're gonna have. An amazing service here today. We already have. Um, next week, uh, January 5th through the 8th, and the Monday through Friday, uh, we're going to be doing New Year's prayer and fasting. And so um, I know that seems like a bit of a, a challenge, but I'm telling you, if, you will, if you'll dial into that, um, it will absolutely change the course of the beginning of the year for you. And um, I believe that it will change the course for our church as well. And so every, every night we're going to be meeting at the church here in the sanctuary at 7 o'clock. And the uh, pastor is going to be doing a short devotional for about 15 minutes. And then we're just going to pray. And pastor has challenged us to fast for two of the days. If you want to fast every day something, that's great. But try to fast two of the days of the first week of January um, with food and try to, you know, be health conscious if you have health, whatever, if you need to make sure you drink water or whatever, but uh, let's, let's, let's dial ourselves in and make sure that we are ready for what the Lord wants to do. Amen. Amen. The ushers are going to come right now. They're going to receive the offering. Could we stand if you, if you're able to stand, if you're not, that's okay. And let's just join back into the spirit of worship. I believe that as we give here and as we enter into his presence, God is going to begin to move. Amen. Let's just have a great service today. Come on, Brother Tate. Let's lead us some worship in Jesus' name.
Spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your Spirit lives within me, my victory. Christ 
if anybody right now, if you want to celebrate this year, you want to stomp all over the devil's head right now. If you want to give the Lord some praise right now, you can get on the aisle right now and you can dance all over this congregation. But it's not for anybody else. It's for the Lord. I wonder if anybody will dance all over the house right now. I've got to praise, I've got to praise, and i got to get it out. I've got to praise. I've I got to praise, i got to praise, and i got to get it out. i got to praise.
Thank the Lord for filling Angie with the Holy Ghost this morning. Praise God. Is there anybody else that wants the gift of the Holy Ghost? If you can come down here to the front right now. We'll pray with you until the Lord fills you with His Spirit. Amen. Maybe there's somebody who just wants a good old renewing of the Holy Ghost before you leave this service this morning as we end this 2020. What a great way to end the year with a renewing of the Holy Ghost. I know, I know the Lord's renewed some. Amen. It's doing pretty good, Joetta. The Lord renewed Joetta in the Holy Ghost. Thank the Lord for that. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Maybe you need a healing in your body, and maybe you just need some you need some strength in your mind. Whatever you need, if you'll just come down, we'll pray with you. You can pray, the Lord will touch you. Amen. Before we finish this service, amen. The worship team's gonna continue to lead us in worship and let's let the Lord do a work right now in Jesus' name.
rejoice in the Holy Ghost we're just going to rejoice in the Holy Ghost you ought to thank the Lord he brought us through he brought us through 2020 in Jesus name 2021 he's going to give back to us everything we lost in 2020 plus a whole lot more if you believe that as they sing just rejoice rejoice in the Lord together oh I've been set free so pardon me a moment all over me. anybody that wants to be baptized in the name of Jesus we have water in the baptistry ready to go we have robes for you to be to wear to be baptized in if you've never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin you need to be baptized in the name of Jesus there is a difference between being baptized in the titles of Father Son and Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus you must be baptized, according to Scripture, in the name of Jesus for the remission of sin. And so if there's anyone that has never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and you have repented of your sin, 
you are a candidate to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. What a wonderful last Sunday of the year for somebody to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Praise God. Let's continue to worship the Lord for just a little while longer now. I feel the joy of the Lord falling fresh on me. I feel the joy of the Lord delivering me. I feel the joy of the Holy Ghost. It's all over me. I feel the joy of the Lord falling fresh on me. I feel the joy of the Lord delivering me. I feel the joy of joy of the Lord in this place. Would you put your hands together and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God, praise God. Why don't you look what the Lord has done? Oh, look what the Lord has done. He healed my body and He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. Oh, I'm going to praise His name.
God, we don't do this. We don't do this like they did in Bible days, but I just kind of felt like maybe at the end of this year we should do this. I want to pray a blessing. I want, I want everybody to find somebody and pray a blessing on them. They used to do that all the time in Scripture. Fathers would pray blessings on their children, pass it on to the next generation. And I think as we conclude this year, find somebody that's not a part of your family. They're not a part of your family. Somebody else. Go find them right now. And just, I want you to pray a blessing. She's going to play. And we're going to pray a blessing on them in the name of Jesus that this will be, 2021 will be a great year for them, that God will give them good things, that God will bless their activities and their their lives in the name of Jesus. There's a ministry of the body that can happen here right now in the name of Jesus. After you pray for them, then they pray for you. Pray a blessing on them in the name of Jesus right now. Would you do that with me? Let's pray together. Lord, I pray a blessing in the name of Jesus on this, on my sister or my brother, Lord. God, I'm asking you to bless them in a special way. I'm asking you to bless them in a special way, Lord. I pray that you would bless their way, prosper their future, Lord. Help them to see good things happen this year in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would bless them in the name of Jesus. I'm asking God that you would anoint them with favor, Lord. That you would keep them healthy and strong, God. I pray that you would bless and anoint them in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would let their family be well. Let their, let their friends be blessed, I pray. Bless them when they come in and when they go out, Lord. Help them to be the head and not the tail this year, Lord. I pray a blessing on their finances, God. I pray a blessing in their life and their future, Lord. Use them in your kingdom this year, Lord. Help them to be sensitive to your spirit, Lord, I pray. I'm asking God that you would anoint everything that they do. Whatever their hand finds to do, let it be done for the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would use them in ministry this year, oh God. I pray an anointing on them right now in Jesus' name. I pray the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich. You would add no sorrow with it, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Touch our young people this year. Touch our young people this year, I pray. I'm asking God that you would let them feel the anointing of your spirit, Lord. I pray that you would give them direction for their life, oh God. Help them, Lord, to realize and understand what you have for their future, Lord. Open the right doors for them, I pray, right now. Open the right doors for their future, I pray. I'm asking you to touch our young people, Lord. I'm asking you to touch them, Lord, in Jesus' name. God, those that are making decisions, decisions this year. Give them wisdom and understanding, Lord. Anoint them, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Go before us, I pray. Be before us and behind us and around us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, for those that are seeking direction for their future, Lord. I pray that you would anoint them and give them direction. Hallelujah, give them direction in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would anoint them in the name of Jesus. Have your way today, Lord. Let our church grow. Let our church be strong. Let our church become more and more like you every day, Lord. I praise you and I worship you now. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you've done and what you will do in 2021. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I praise you. I worship you. I magnify you. I glorify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for washing sins away. Hallelujah. 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 I praise you, Lord. 
I worship you, Lord. I magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your glory is real. Your power is anointing is real, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let your spirit move, guide us and direct us, Lord, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Be upon you in a thousand generations, in your family, in your children, in their children. And their children, may his favor be upon you in a thousand generations, in your family, in your children, in their children, in their children, may his favor be upon you in a thousand generations, in your family, in your children, in their children, in their children. Before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you, he is with you, he is with you in the morning, in the evening, and you're coming and you're going, and you're weeping and rejoicing. He is for you, he is for you, he is for you, he is for you. Our theme for 2021 is together. Together. COVID 19's tried to split us all apart, put us all in different directions. But by God's grace, 2021, we're going to be together in Jesus' name. Amen. It's going to be a wonderful year, I believe in Jesus. Praise God. I'm not saying there's not going to be difficulties and there won't be challenges. Just because the calendar change to 2021 doesn't mean that COVID's going to go away immediately, but I believe the Lord's going to be with us and he's going to help us. And he has been with us all through 2020. We baptized more people, as many people receive the Holy Ghost, I believe, as any year that I, since I've been here in 2020. And so the Lord is good and he's going to continue to be good. Amen. Praise God. What a great way to end 2020. And I think it's just a foreshadowing of what 2021 is going to look like in Jesus' name. 
Let's claim that promise in the name of Jesus. Stick around in the presence of the Lord as long as you'd like. If you need to be dismissed, you can consider yourself dismissed. Still able to baptize somebody if you want to be baptized. God bless you in Jesus' name. We'll see you Wednesday night. Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, will be our final service of the year. See you Wednesday night. God bless you in Jesus' name.